All right, guys. So I have a little bit of my voice back. A so bit. a little bit. I still sound a little funny. Um. So it is Wednesday, and we are officially on Thanksgiving break. Are you looking at me to say something? Yeah. We're on Thanksgiving break. All right, fine. All right. <laughs> um, I. What did I do today? What did I do today? We did lots of awesome stuff today. What are you talking about? Lots of awesome stuff. We got up this morning. I got awesome. up late. That's not awesome for me. I woke up pretty early. Well, who, who told you to do that? I don't know. Okay. We play magic this morning. That's not awesome either. Playing my first game of Commander isn't awesome? Losing to your first game of Commander? Not awesome. Now you have a permanent player of Commander though. How is that not awesome? Well, yes. But I lost. That's... That wasn't cool. I'm sorry. I well, like I that. told you we could play again tonight if you want to try again. <laughs> I want to try again. Oh my goodness. So I just feel like my deck... So I, if you know anything about Magic the Gathering and Commander, I'm playing a Bria deck and I had a bad like pull of cards. I wasn't getting anything out. I had a slow burn like start. You had like you were playing a wizard's deck and it was just ridiculous. It took me a lot of rounds before I got any wizard deck. Sure, I just had nothing. Okay. So I'm gonna pout about it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um you played some Overwatch and some Destiny today. Played Overwatch, um and I don't know. I just feel like there are so many people on now that are not willing to switch even though they're not playing well. Mm-hmm. It's just sad. It I'm just sorry. took me out of the experience. And I really enjoyed a game. I just I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I, I moved you're away. Talking about Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. So I moved away from Overwatch and I played some Destiny 2. Man, I am really enjoying Destiny right. 2 right now. Finally, a smile. Because you can, I was, okay, I, I'm still learning how to play Destiny 2. I finally got to level 20, and I haven't purchased anything while I was leveling. I haven't cashed in any of these tokens. So I started cashing in all these tokens, and I started getting, like, Legendary Gear, which is kind of cool. Cool. And then I played the, um, the Crucible, which is, like, a, a four-on-four uh, team deathmatch game. Okay. And I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a good okay. Time. I, I had a really good time. Is it one of those where you respawn after you die, or you yeah, don't yes, respawn? yes. No, you respawn after you die. Okay. Um, but it's cool. I mean, I held my own. Some of the people on there already have like really powerful, of course, armor. Of course. Um, but I was able to hold my own. I'm glad. And I'm really enjoying it right now. So I started playing this afternoon as well, and uh -huh. I haven't even made it through the initial scenario yet. And that is because. Spectrum, our internet kept crashing and you can't play Destiny without internet. So I got really frustrated and I rage quit. You did, you did. I was like, no, I'm done with this. That, but wasn't, that wasn't that cool. Um, my armor rating cool or my well. light rating, I forgot what it is. I'm currently at like, like 230. I don't know what that means, but it sounds so impressive. There were recommended points or for your lights to be at before you can start doing things. I think uh, the raid that's out now, I need to be at least 260. Okay. Maybe 270 is better. I don't I mean, know. 270 is better than 260. So I'm at 240, Numbers. 230 now. So when you get better armor, yeah, your light uh, armor or whatever your armor class number increases. Okay. So you have to get better armor before you can do this specific Gosh. raid. Okay. You are currently 100. I'm a baby. Yeah. Um, so I'm in like the 230s right now. So I just got to keep doing like crucibles and other uh, things to get better armor along cool. the way. Very cool. I'm liking it. You know, it has um, um, a grinding kind of aspect to it. Because mm -hmm. you kind of have to keep doing roughly the same thing to get better armor. Okay. Is that a pro or a con for you? People feel like it's a con, but right now I'm enjoying it. Okay. Because you can still get really cool things doing PvP. Gotcha. I get if it was PvE, how maybe it can get boring because there are only yeah. so many different things. Well, um, PvP, you actually have like 
dynamic changes every time you see them. Yeah, you know, you play different people and yeah. it just seems a little more exciting. So I'm glad you can progress your character that way also. Cool. And if I get tired of that, I can go to PvE and still kind of progress my character. Sweet. Long story short, I'm enjoying Destiny 2 right now on the PC. Big fan. Very nice. Uh, I worked on D&D &D this afternoon for probably about two hours. Um, okay. It was good. That didn't sound great. It wasn't great. I had too many ideas. Okay. Which is a good problem to have. But the whole time I was like, but what about this idea? What about this? And it was like you couldn't, I couldn't, stressful. I couldn't get all my ideas out of my head onto the piece of paper fast enough, which is an awesome problem to have. But along with that topic, I have an idea that I'm super kind of excited about, which is I want to start a Discord channel oh. for DMs and GMs where they can come and share ideas and talk about cool things that happen in their campaign and so all of this. So, if ahead. you're a player, I can't join no. the card. No, wow. I think I'm going to call it Player Free Zone. <laughs> wow. Because it's really for GMs and DMs. Hey! And so, wait, I was going to tell a story. Can I tell a story real fast? Sure. You're a GM. I'm know. a GM. You get to come. Not officially, haven't done it yet. You can come. I'm a GM. You're, you're invited. Um, so, this idea sprung out of Friday uh, at PAX Unplugged. I was sitting around waiting for the critical role signing to happen okay. and I'm sitting in line with a bunch of people and we all start talking about the campaigns that we're in and everyone that I was sitting with is a DM oh. and I was like this is so cool so we all started telling stories one of the guys was like so what's the craziest thing that's ever happened in your campaign or what's the coolest story from something that you ran and so we all started telling stories mm -hmm. about the different campaigns that we've been in or that we played in and the crazy ideas and like where our players took the seed of our ideas and like shifted it and moved it around or you know like and people started taking notes and writing down ideas for their own campaigns like it was a really awesome brainstorming moment and I was like why can't I have this all the time because cool. the people that I normally get to talk to are my players I can't tell them these things, no. but some of the best ideas I've ever had have actually been ideas that have come when I've bounced them off other people. So like one of the best ideas I had, all right, not one of the best ideas, but one of the really good ideas that I had, I actually had talked about it. Eric doesn't know this. I'm sharing something he doesn't know. I had actually talked about my campaign with the D&D, with the D&D group I was with when I was playing at the Brooklyn Strategist. And we all met up for drinks and had a great time and I was telling them about the campaign that I was about to get started in and I was sharing like this is where I see it going and then everyone there like started giving me ideas and I actually took some of those ideas incorporated them into the campaign and it really started fleshing things out for me Interesting. so I think there needs to be a place where GMs and DMs feel free to share ideas to encourage other people's ideas to brainstorm or be like I can't quite figure out how this mechanic is gonna work or I have this idea but it doesn't I'm missing something can someone help me with this thing so I'm hoping that I can get that off the ground sooner rather than later is it just gonna be discord or are you looking for something like reddit also I think I'll start on one platform and then see if it expands to another one I think discord is used by so many gamers especially those who are trying to play across large distances we're fortunate that we have people that we play with in person. Um, I have yet to play a game online when it comes to an RPG, but I I feel like Discord is really heavily used, especially by the gaming community, so it made sense that that would be the place that I would start. Um, but Reddit, Reddit would make sense if people really want to like get into heavily threaded conversations. I also like the sense that it's private, in the sense that like, your players couldn't randomly stumble upon it. They have to get invited to the server. So like, I mean, it's no, that's kind of hard. That's kind of hard to like grow. No, it's not. If, that, if it's an invite only. Well, let's say you have to have the link to get into it. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not a private server. It's a semi-public okay. server. Gotcha. So like, if you get the link, you can get into it. But you're not going to just be able to search and get into it. Fair enough. It. Like, Fair enough. I want like-minded people in it. Gotcha. That's the whole point. Gotcha. I don't want it just to be a free-for-all because as soon as it's a free-for-all it just gets into trouble. Um, someone we met at PAX mm -hmm. was saying instead of Roll20, use Tabletop Simulator. Yeah. Which we have. I don't know if you knew that. I do know that we have that. I gotta figure that out I guess. I don't know that I would want to 
I don't know that for my first time I would want to be the GM for a game online. I would want to play in one first. Fair enough. Like, so my idea would be if I was going to get into a game, I wouldn't mind it being on Roll20 and through Discord because at least I could try it out right. first right. without having to learn the whole system. Because there's a lot, there's a learning curve when it comes to Roll20. Because you're building all the maps on there, yeah. you're building all the character sheets. Like, there's just a lot. There's a lot. So, yes. But anyway, so if you think that's a good idea, let me know. I'm obviously going to be inviting people once I get it up and running. Um, so if you're a GM or a DM and you're interested... Or you're interested in becoming a GM or a DM. Yeah, that right? too. That too. But know that there's because, a, I mean, that, I mean, a bond of secrecy between GMs that if you're a player, you should not <laughs> try to read the things that your DM is doing because that's just not fair. Because I feel like, I feel like that, that's the thing. You know, I, since I'm about to start GMing a game, mm -hmm. I have no place to go to like get ideas and insights. Right, and I want to create a community of people who think that, like, who can give you that insight. Or if you have a question, or if you have like right. a, like I just wanted to feel very natural community and just be like, hey, so this crazy thing happened in my game last night. Isn't this the most insane story? Or so I'm working on this situation, this, you know, battle. But I think I'm going to have this and this happen, but it doesn't seem very balanced. Does anybody have any suggestions about how I can make it feel more balanced, etc.? Et Go for it. I'm excited. Yeah. And I will be the first person to join. I don't think that's true. You're no. going to have to get your own Discord. I have a Discord. No, no, no. I have a Discord. Oh, you stole my Discord. What? Yeah, I did. Fair enough. All right. I think that was it. Tomorrow, because we didn't do it today, because this one slept in, and when she woke up, it was raining. It was raining. Blah, blah, blah. What I'm talking about is running. Tomorrow. We're going to go for a run tomorrow. Is a four mile run. Four miles? Four mile run. You didn't tell me that. I know. Four mile run. Then we have a three mile run on Saturday and a six mile run. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I thought we were doing time. It's an hour, yes. It'll be an, a, a, a one hour Wait, so run what, on Sunday. How long are we running tomorrow? Tomorrow's going to be four miles. No. Yeah. Can't it just be a time? Nope. Tomorrow's four miles. I know the, 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 the course we're going to do is going to be fine. And then Sunday we'll move into hours. And you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I'm not going to be fine. You're going to be fine. It's going to be great. So more running to come. She's going to post something about Discord for GMs and DMs that are current GMs and DMs. Or, if you're interested in being a GM and DM, you should definitely check out this Discord that Emma will put together. But until then, guys, hope you had a great day. She's not very happy right now because run we have to run tomorrow. But we will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.